Thursday the 17th of May 2018 it's 0635 hours British summer time and this is the emergency Chromebook Beano it's even chillier in Newport so I'd better go in there and warm up with some refreshing warming coffee it may be cold but it's sunny and it's nearly summer so Cider, raspberry ripple from Herefordshire. I can say brewery. Mm. A cider maker called Snails Bank, four percent alcohol by volume. Mm, nice and cold. Carpet for Mr. Manning. I think they've um, stained these tables. Hmm. Mm. Very raspberry, <laughs> extremely sweet, maybe a little bit too sweet for me. However, I quite like it. I'm going to say D plus in a bit. Yeah. Blue balloons from Wallace Linton, red balloons, Queen's Hotel. Oh no, it could be the Royal Wedding. Seem to have the nice white balance straight away. Um, balloons, nothing to do with the Royal Wedding. There's been a menu change, although I'm not quite sure what it is. <laughs> um, they have new, and the new these. Anyway, this is five to four favorite from Ascot Brewing Company, 4.6% alcohol by volume. Um, just spoke that while well, I support. They're very friendly. Quite malty, malty finish, nicely bittered, malt forward, bitter, B plus. There you go. Yes, it's a half. Uh, <laughs> it's been interesting. Uh, I nipped out to get some batteries, which in the end I didn't actually need. Uh, no, I'm now on version 2 of my EOI. Uh, this is Prophecy by Bath Hills. I think it's 3.6% of the whole my volume. Really, I have no idea. I've had it before. It looks nice. I need a half because we're in striking distance of Curry Thursday. And there's a... I think there's a beer I haven't had before. So anyway, you know, and things like that. Ooh. Anyway, hats off to Alison Sheridan and the Nocilla Cast, Nocilla Cast podcast, for it is wonderful. Mm. Spicy, light, malty. Nice spicy finish. Interesting, B plus in a bit. The curry, the curry is inbound. Hence the mango chutney and vinegar. Um, this is Darkness by Acorn Brewery. I'm not sure if I had this before. Let's see, 4.2% uh, alcohol by volume. Signature beer series, Steve Bunting, uh, um, whatever. Let's have a little try. I can see chips. Mm. Smells nice. Mm. Just thin. Malty and burnt notes. Long. Coffee, bitter, burnt notes finish. I'll be plus. It's okay. It'll do for me. And the finish does go on quite a long way. What I need, there's a guy in a sombrero. What I need is smell o vision. Chips are under there. Apologies. Uh, yeah. Guy in a sombrero. It's all good, all very good. 
the rebels, the tiny rebels. They're open, they look open. It's opening time. Okay, Patrons Project 4.04. Victorian Lemonade IPA Citra Lemon Drop Amarillo Drew Millward Northern Tropics. That's the name. Anyway, Northern Monk Magic Rock. And weighing in at 6.5% alcohol by volume. <laughs> Hugely lemon, not citrus lemony taste. No, aroma. Lemon, lemony, with a hint of lemon. If anything, too much lemon. B plus on the bit. A traditional English beer. Who would have thought? Brew York. And this is called Maris the Otter. Uh, I wonder why. 3.9% alcohol by volume. Issues. Captain Port on us. Luckily, no Captain Port in here. Smells extremely twiggy. This isn't such a bad thing. Malty. A little thin. It's okay. Yeah, I think it's okay is as good as it gets. I had such high hopes. B plus, but just. I can guess. Anyway, from Catalonia, Barcelona, Garage Beer Co, Montessori, 7% alcohol by volume. Can you guess what it is? because it smells lovely. A bomb refreshing New England double IPA refreshingly happy days. Even a happy Monday or not. B plus plus. This could be a takedown anyway. The Duchess. And uh, if I can find it, 6.2% alcohol by volume with memories of Ghent. Oh, yeah. A minus which I think is possibly four out of five. Rock and roll.